Hi everybody, I got it back out of the box because quite, some of you, and you had it was a fair question, said how would it do with a, a chicken or, or a duck? That was another one as well. Um, this is an extra large uh, chicken because I thought, do you know what? That's actually quite a good idea. Hold on, I have washed this, but can you see? I will, I'll take a picture of it in case that's not coming up very well because it's a bit bright. Extra large, <laughs> what's the weight? Um, just under two kilograms. Yeah, I'll take a picture just in case it didn't show up, but I'm gonna, I'm, the way I cook it in the Ninja, I'm gonna replicate in here because it, even though they are very slightly wider than the Ninja basket, they are slightly shallower. So it'd be interesting to see um, how a chicken fares. So I'm definitely gonna be trying that. Let's get it started. I think, mm, do I preheat? I don't normally preheat with Ninja, so I think I probably won't do the same. But you could preheat if if you had some if you had a preheat function. I think it's choice because these heat up really quickly. So sometimes it's it depends what you're cooking really. I suppose if it's if it's pastry, then maybe preheat's worth it. But with a chicken, it's going to get up to temperature anyway. So let's get it in. I always start the chicken upside down um, in an air fryer because obviously you want to crisp up the top at the last stage rather than at the first stage. Yeah, let's get it in and start cooking it and see how it fares at the end. See you in a bit. Okay, just gonna get it in. It's got a lemon inside. I won't dress the top until I've flipped it. I'm just gonna push it down. That seems okay for to me in terms of clearance. Um, I just gotta wash my hands. Right, no harm in a bit of seasoning at this point what I do with my um, olive oil is I pierce it with a um, two pronged fork or or anything that it just creates two little holes whoops um, and it means you've got a really good control and, and try not to drip it on your drawers <laughs> You don't, it makes it last longer. Right, let's get it in. I'll just move it away from the sockets. Okay, so, uh, well, I don't have, I don't, 180 is how I, I, I like to do my temperature for my uh, chicken. And for 30 minutes, first half. Flip it and another additional 30 minutes. I'm not sure if I'm going to take shake off because I don't need shake. I'm going to take preheat off as well. Um, just going to hold that down. I was just checking if that's on or off because actually some of these instructions were quite useful, which I didn't delve into in the review. Um, it does this. Uh, you can obviously customise your cooking functions, switch in temperature units, that's the holding, to get it to uh, Fahrenheit or uh, the other one. <laughs> you can turn the sound on and off, which is a really, you can't do that on the Ninja. Um, and I, I remember a lot of people used to say, oh, I'd love to turn that off, that, that beep. But if you press and hold the preheat and shake at the same time, that turns the sounds off. And you can reset all cooking functions by holding the left and right at the same time for three seconds. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Right, let's get cracking. Where's this start? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll see you when I flip the chicken. See you in a bit. Oh, I'm just going to say, I've uh, got a nice view of the chicken's bum. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> see you in a bit. Just over halfway, I just wanted to see have a check through the window because I can bombs looking getting crisper and browner can you see the bubbles I don't know if you can see that yeah nice I'm thinking I might when I flip it whoops I'm thinking when I flip it I'm going to up the temperature a little bit so uh, yeah see you in a bit all right so the first half has ended so let's have a look well, that's looking all right. Yeah, happy with that. Just check you can see. Uh, let's flip it now.
Okay, let's stick it back in. Right, how do I just revert? Oh, no. Off and on again, maybe. Oh, I've done it to... <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, do you know what? I was wanted to choose roast. Oh, never mind. Right, so I think 195 for, for the second half. Um, I'm gonna take off preheat, that's cool. It shows it there as a reminder. And just crack on, press play as it were. Oh no, 10 minutes. Oh, okay, reset. Roast. 195, I think I said. Uh, preheat off, shake off time 30 minutes there you go right see you in a bit just having a quick peek because there's just under six minutes left you can't really see much but you can see enough let's have another yeah i'll be checking the temperature and if we have to extend the time we will so i'll see you shortly so it's about to end let's um check the temperature Oh, looking good though. Well, we definitely need to add, um, I'd say 20 minutes to be sure. Okay, I'll come the probe in a minute. Let's get it back in. Uh, roast again, oh, hold up. Roast. Um, twenty minutes, and hopefully that should do it. Oh, I forget where the play button is. Play, you know, start button. See you in a bit. Oh, hold on. Oh, I've got to. Oh, let's see if I can turn that off. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. You can turn it off while it's running, and it reverts to the original time. That's good. See you in a bit. Okay, it's just ended. So let's check the temperature. Perfect. Right, I'm going to get this plated up uh, and then we're going to kind of cut it up just to, well, it's, it's our dinner, quite frankly. <laughs> we're going to get ready. I'm going to show you how succulent it is uh, and then that'll be that. Yeah, taste test, a quick taste test. See you in a bit. Looking, looking delicious. Very, um, well, I love air fryer chicken. I've got to be honest, air, air fryers cook meat oh just really delicious right let's start um portioning this up um and I'll go for a quick taste test see you in a minute not fully cut it because it keeps the heat in um because this is everyone's dinner but oh oh it just falls off the bone absolutely delicious just one taste test mm. oh yeah delicious oh well we're all starving um what i would say it was a little bit done on the top you know slightly uh, next time because I do steam air fry on 180, I kind of had that number in my head. I think if I was doing this again in this machine, it would be 195, 30 minutes upside down, 195, the right way up. And if you have to add five, 10 minutes, it's because I've had to extend the time um, because I started off at 180. But, and it, it you know, extra large chicken, this is very well i think ducks are quite long i remember someone asked me about ducks i've never cooked a a, a duck in the oven let alone a, an air fryer so 
but I have I have seen my I have seen them cooked where but they are quite long so that measurements would have to be taken to see if one fitted in to be sure um and also if any of you fancy checking out um a frugal queen of france please do uh i'll put a little um picture images of hers really lovely if any of you are into budgeting she's, she does a fantastic channel she's british but she's her and her husband are based in france um if you do go check her out there'll be a link in the description she was she was absolutely she's a really lovely channel um uh yeah i'll uh uh, and if you do go over, please say you, I sent you over. But do go check her out. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I'm gonna we're gonna go eat our dinner. Um, we all hope you have a great day, weekend, whatever. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>